happy Friday, ICC friends. Happy Good Friday. It's your girl, Zaviera, and I'm coming on to go live for a little bit because I just um, received some great information from my go-to girl, Shantae, um, regarding the stimulus checks. A lot of you have a lot of questions regarding the stimulus check, when they will, the checks will start being distributed. And she sent me over some great information. And the reason why I wanted to go live is because when I originally put up a post about the stimulus checks, a lot of people had questions who did not have an income. Uh, oh, excuse me. They did not have an income or they had a very low income. So they don't usually file taxes. So people, a lot of people had concerns about that. And she forwarded, forwarded me some amazing information today. Um, I created a post about it in detail on the website, but I wanted to come online and talk to you guys because some of the information can kind of get wordy and it can kind of get confusing. So the first thing I will ask all of you to do, and I see all of your beautiful faces coming into this live chat, please share it with someone else who may be able to use the information or, you know, if it doesn't necessarily pertain to you, because today I'm going to try something a little different. I am actually going to walk you through the process of filling out the form that you need to complete in order to make sure that you receive your stimulus check. Now, there's a few things that I need to make very clear before I get y'all all hyped up to jump in and start filling out this form. Um, this form is only for people who have not filed taxes in 2019 and you have not filed taxes in 2018. Because for those of us who did not file in 2019, many of us are covered because we filed in 2018. But if you did not file in 2019 and you did not file in 2018, that is where a lot of people have a lot of concerns, a lot of worries. What do I do? How do I make sure that I receive my stimulus check? Also, a lot of my ICC friends who are stay at home moms who have low income, um, who may not reach, you know, you just don't make enough money to file taxes. I mean, you know, some of us have been there. I mean, I've, I've been there myself and, you know, you had questions. So I wanted to answer those questions for you as well as walk you through. Um, the process of filing this is called like free file fillable form. Weird name, but OK, it's the IRS. They do what they do. So um, I wanted to walk you through the process of doing this. I walk through myself ahead of time just so I could have an idea of what it does and and how complicated it is, if complicated at all. So some of the things are already filled out. And so don't be a little weirded out by that. But I just want to walk you through the process so you can kind of see how easy it is. I literally have screenshots, step-by-step -step instructions on icecreamcombos.com. So if this video doesn't help you and you like kind of want to see it yourself and walk through it and fill it yourself, we can do that as well. All right. So thank you all. I see your beautiful faces coming in. Thank you all for everyone who's sharing, for hitting the likes and the love buttons and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me share my screen with you all. And once I share my screen, can you just please let me know in the comments if you see the screen, if it's clear enough, and if you're able to follow along, okay? Let's go. All right, so this is me sharing my screen with you all. And just um, let me know for one second. I'll give you guys a second just to kind of let me know if you can see the screen okay, and if everything looks good on your guys' end. I'll make this a little bigger, okay? So this is the free file form. They said it's fast, it's safe, and it is free. Thank you guys so much for letting me know. All right, so just a few things. If you fall in any of these categories, there is no need for you to fill this out. If you receive Social Security, Railroad Retirement, SSDI benefits, the IRS will automatically send you an economic impact payment, okay? If you've already filed your 2019 taxes and or 2018 taxes, you are good, all right? Um, if your gross income was over $12,200 for an individual or $24,400 24, for a married couple, you do not have to file this form, okay? Um, if you were married at the end of 2019, um, and you are not submitting information here with your spouse, okay? If you are not a citizen or a permanent resident in 2019, you do not need to fill out this form. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to do going in is create an account. 
I already created an account to kind of smooth things along and you know I had to create one in order to go in and get the screenshots for the blog post and so on and so forth but basically an email address confirm your email create a username you know they call it a user ID but it's basically a username your telephone number is recommended I put in my cell phone number and they actually text me I guess in a quick way to kind of confirm my identity um, then you create a password, you confirm your password, and then you hit create account. Okay. Let me just make my screen a little bigger. Let's see. Okay. All right. So next I'm going to just go ahead and sign in for you all. Of course I use ice cream combos because I knew I was going to do a tutorial to help you guys out. When you log in, this is the tax form. It basically looks like a standard W2. If you've ever, you know, when you went to get hired for a job and so on and so forth, I'm going to make this bigger, but by making this bigger, it's probably going to start pushing things off of the page. So please um, bear with me with that. Okay. So basically you'll start out here, you'll click single. And if you're, you know, married and you're filing jointly with you and your spouse, you will click here. You will fill, so I'm gonna just fill it out as single so that way I don't have to put all my husband's information in. I'm just gonna create a mock form so you can see how it goes. And I'll put my middle initial and my last name is Bryant. For my social security, I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, home address, I will do one, two, three, Ice Cream Street. If I can spell street correctly. My town is Ice Creamville. Georgia and I'll just make a fake zip code hopefully I take it is that enough numbers okay right here they ask can someone claim you as a dependent um, now this is for you know if you are an adult but you're living in your home and you're you're not necessarily working and your mama and your papa can claim you as a dependent that's when you kind of run into issues because if anyone else can claim you as a dependent you cannot fill this form out you cannot receive a check if someone else is receiving a check on your behalf because they are claiming you as a dependent. So luckily, you know, no one is claiming me as a dependent. Now down here, they give you one, two, three, four spaces to claim your dependents. This is any child that lives in your house under the age of 17 or any dependent in your house under the age of 17. So I'm going to put my Desi in. Okay, and then right here in this drop down box, you have to choose what relationship this dependent is to you. As you can see, they have daughter, son, foster child, stepchild, step sister, step brother, half brother, half sister, parent, grandparent, grandchild, sister, brother, uncle, nephew, niece, other, and none. So they pretty much have the whole gamut, you know, covered to kind of help you out in saying like who can actually be claimed as a dependent. So she's my daughter right here now if you exceed five dependents and it says if you have additional dependents you could check this box and you can add more people and they have plenty of lines here for you to add more people okay but i don't necessarily need to do that so let's see if i can get back to my form all right down here is your banking information. This is what they are urging you to do. They are urging you, if you have a bank account, to give them the banking information so that they can go ahead and process your refund, well not refund, excuse me, your stimulus check via direct deposit so it can get to you much quicker and they don't have to cut down a tree to cut your check. So I'm not gonna put my banking information in, of course, I'm gonna do it the standard way because I'm thinking about some of our older ICC friends um, you know, or some people who just may not have a bank account. So we have to take those into account. So, but it, this is where, if you have banking information, you will put your banking information. Um, just a side note, if you have already filed taxes in 2019, because I see some of my friends coming in asking questions, if you have filed taxes in 2019 or 2018 and your banking information has changed, inside the post, there is a link in the description. There is information on how to update your banking information so that you do not miss your stimulus check or have any delays in receiving your stimulus check. Now down here, it kind of gets a little confusing for some people. This is the identity protection pin. I, myself, and my husband, we have identity protection pins because 
one year someone tried to file income taxes using one of our social security numbers. So my accountant filed for us to receive identity protection pins and you cannot file income tax using my name, my husband's name or anybody else's name that's similar to ours without providing that pin. And that is the IRS's way of protecting us. And they give us a brand new pin every year so that God forbid someone goes through some of our old business records. They can't grab our pen and move forward with our information. If you do not have a, if you do not have a pen, no worries. Don't don't sweat it. No sleep. Okay. Only if applicable. All right. So I've completed inform, all my information here, just like a standard W two. If you were to start a new job, um, so no need to stress over that. We'll go ahead and move to step two. Now, step two, I literally had to put my glasses on and read a little bit because as you can see there's a lot of information here the first section of part two is your personal verification information this is a little weird to me because they're asking for your adjusted gross income from 2018 and I was thinking to myself well if you had an adjusted gross income from 2018 then that means you had filed taxes in 2018 so there would be no reason to fill out this form I don't know if maybe I'm missing something or if this is like a little catch for them to try to catch you slipping. I don't know. But it also says if you didn't file a return last year, just simply enter zero. So I'm going to enter zero. And then B says enter last year's self-selected signature pin. If you didn't file taxes in 2018 and or this year, you don't have a self-selected signature pin. No worries. OK, so you can simply skip this step. Down here is your electronic signature. So you're going to put in today's date. Today's the 10th, right? All right. Um, you're going to put in your cell phone number. So I'm just going to 678-222-2222. Um, then after that, they are saying now they're giving you the option to choose your five digit pin. This is the same pin they were asking for up here in this area. So you can go ahead and set your pin here for next year. You know, Lord forbid, and God forbid, we ain't going to be in no Rona next year and end up needing another stimulus check. But this is a good way um, for you to sign your any IRS document. You could use your signature pen and always put it in a very safe spot in the event that you need to come back to it for anything. OK, so I'm just going to do nine, eight, seven, six, five. OK, now also they're asking for your date of birth so my date of birth is december 30th and i'm just going to be a brand new baby who hasn't been born yet 2020. now on line e they're asking for your driver's license information or your state issued id number but if you do not have one you can leave this information blank okay um, in order to get this application you can visit the irs but I did place a link in the description that will take you to um, the web icecreamcombos.com where I have all of this information laid out for you bar for bar, section by section, as well as a link to this particular form that I'm filling out right now and showing you guys how to go about filling it out. So I'm going to pretend I don't have a driver's license just to kind of skip over this and not have to bore you guys filling in my driver's license information. Now right here, initially when I went in, this continue to e-file was blank. I could not click it. And I kept going over the form trying to figure out what the heck I did wrong. Why is it not allowing me to move forward with the e-file? It's because of this little area right here. I didn't pay attention. I was moving too quickly. It says filing status emails will be sent to Xaviera at icecreamconvos.com. Verification is required to submit your filing. So basically, when initially when we set up the account, remember when we created an account, when we created the account, they send you an email verification. You must verify your email address or you will not be able to submit your tax form. OK, so now that we've done all this, you'll click here to submit the tax form to continue to e-file. So if I click here. It's going to take me to the next page and they're going to ask me to put in, you know, the CAPTCHA and so on and so forth and then submit. I'm not going to submit this fake form to the IRS. This is where I'm going to cash out. But I just wanted to take a moment and show you guys how simple this form actually is to complete. 
Now, here's one more thing that I want to make sure that you guys are aware of. Once you submit your form, I'm going to say to give the IRS at least seven business days. I don't know how backed up they are, how many forms they are receiving, or if they on top of it and knocking these forms out, or if they're being a little slow. But right here, if you guys can see where I'm pointing my mouse, this is where you can actually log back in to check the status of your e-filing to see if they've accepted it, to see if it's been processed and so on and so forth. So this is a great way for you to come back in and check, get some peace of mind, find out if they have any issues or if there are any issues with your form. Of course, I don't expect there to be any because we went over the form and it's pretty self-explanatory and I have detailed every aspect of the form in the post. Um, I see where some of my ICC friends are saying the link is not working. As soon as this live is done, I will go back in and make sure all the links are properly working. They were working a little earlier, so I'm not sure what happened. But if for any reason, while completing your form, if you make a mistake or you forgot something just went awry, you can simply click this button here to start over. And it will say select and delete return will delete everything you have entered and you will have to start over and you can click here and they'll take you back to this main page. You can click and start anew. You can start brand new. OK, so hopefully um, this will kind of help you all and getting your things filed and getting everything on track and making sure that you receive your stimulus check. OK, so it's very important to me that everyone who is supposed to receive their stimulus check receives it and that you receive it in a timely manner, because, you know, a lot of us are out of work. A lot of us are furloughed. A lot of us, our hours are cut back and, um, you know, we're working from home, those of us who can, but everyone does not have that luxury. So I just want to make sure that everyone has the tools and the information that they need in order to make sure that they get their check again. If you did file in 2019 or 2018 and you did direct deposit and your banking information or your home address has changed, I have also included a link in the post of how to go about updating your address and updating your banking information. Sometime next week, <clears throat> I expect sometime next week or a couple days after, <clears throat> excuse me, hold on. Okay. The IRS is going to actually release um, a platform where you can go in and check the status of your stimulus check. So you can see, you know, if it's coming in the next couple of days or if you're going to be kind of on closer to May than in April receiving your check. So I am waiting for that to go live. And once that goes live, I'm going to create a post for that and give you guys that information as well so that you can go in. And I think it's going to give peace of mind to some of the people who just still, even with all the information that's coming out and, you know, this person is saying this and this person is saying that there is still a large group of people who do not have clarity on the status of their refund, not refund. I keep saying refund the status of their stimulus check and or if they're going to get one. So hopefully once they release this, check the status of my stimulus um, check you know, once they set up this portal that we can actually go in and put our information in and check, that will give a lot of people peace of mind. So I'm anxiously waiting on that so I can pass that information along to you. OK, so with that being said, um, I will go ahead and pull this down and share this on YouTube as well. So if there's any part of this that you need to go back and check or you just want to kind of hit pause and rewind or whatever or show you play cousin, then we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll make sure this is available on the website as well. I will embed it at the bottom and I will also add it to the Ice Cream Convos YouTube page. Um, and I'm just, I'm really, I mean, celebrity news and entertainment is awesome and it's funny and it's entertaining, but at the same time, I definitely want to provide you guys with information that is going to help you in your day-to-day -day lives. Okay. So, um, special thanks to Shantae. She is my ultimate writer. She is very instrumental in providing information to me for me to turn around and share to you all. You may see her in the comments providing additional information in addition to what I'm sharing with you all here. So um, thank you again so much. And I will be sure to update. Um, make sure I'll double check all the links to make sure everything is good for you guys. And if you have any additional questions, please visit the IRS, um, irs.gov or the Department of Treasury. Okay, because I myself, I 
I can't answer all the questions. I can just try to give you as much information as possible. Okay. So I love you guys. You guys be safe and um, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. And hopefully tonight we'll, I'll come back and we'll do our regular Friday night chat with the shenanigans. Okay. All right. Happy good Friday. Bye guys.